Not now. That time is the internet because the the uh, uh, stream crashed. Piece of junk. I, like I said, that time is the internet. Don't do this now, internet. Let me get through this thing, and then, then I can end the stream for today and reset you. So much I wanted to do today in 14.2. I was excited. That's something we forgot to do this weekend. We wanted to go up to Spectrum. Yeah, but if I'm not doing this, it means I have to go do something I don't want to do. I have to go edit or... Edit. I have to go edit. That's not even true. It's not just editing. I have to go find sound effects. Hello, Reynard Fox. Welcome to the stream. I am having internet problems today, so I apologize. The uh, stream cuts again. I assure you the game sound is is not really quiet because I turned it up. <laughs> Unless it needs to be turned up more, then I can do that. But I'll let other people speak to that.
I love this fight. I think it's really cool. <laughs> I mean, probably, I, it could be that I just have the sound low. Um, I've always thought it sounded okay, but... If it's me, I do apologize. That is not me. Again. I get hit by that too. That's done! That book's done. I just used OBS to record myself playing a Flash game for a future LP. Thank you for telling me about the program. I'm glad it worked. Um, I love OBS. It's great. Good luck on LP. May you have much more success than I ever have slash will. <laughs> Did it when you recorded EBF4? Well, that was many years ago, so. Yay? I greeted that? I didn't want to greet that. That stinks. <laughs> or what did I get? I don't even see it. Whatever. Edit out the ads on the website? What do you mean? What do you mean on the website? Oh, are you recording from a website? Like a like Congregate or Armor Games or something like that? Like I did for EBF4? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, okay. Uh, what I did is I zoomed in um, the, e the uh, EBF, or it's EBF, the, uh, the OBS screen to where it only recorded the screen. So like I messed with the the uh Let me pull up OBS because I'm not I'm not explaining this very well. When you edit scene, you pull up OBS and you can edit scene and you can uh, stretch the the sides of the screen. I did that. I just I stretched it to where it was only recording the the game. Like I didn't edit out the ads or anything. 
I made it to where OBS only recorded that part of the screen. Yeah, that's something, I, that's something you do pre-recording. I mean, you can edit out the the ads, I guess, using an editing program. And then you can, uh, excuse me, you can stretch the, you can stretch the part of the screen, part of the screen you want. That way there's just not black space everywhere. Yeah, no problem. Mines hard and Brave Flux long stop hard. I don't like Brave Flux long stop hard. Do this later though. So I can get some of this stuff out of my inventory. We're gonna go do the level 40 culinary quest. I can knock that out. Beats me, it's always hard to say. I'll stream until the internet crashes again, in which case I'm done for today. I'm going to go reset everything. Or um, night gets home, which will be like in a little over an hour. Search the screen to video editor. Yeah, you can like cut out the like sidebars or just put like a black bar over it, over the ads. Um, or you can stretch the stretch the screen to where you can't see the ads anymore, and you just get the just the game. That would be, um, that would be my two suggestions, or a combination of both. I'm not the best editor. But that would be how I would go at, go about it. If you still end up having spots on the sides like depending on how the screen when you stretch it where the ads are um, you can put banners of your own something that deals with the game or um, like a little channel banner like I had one made for me many 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 years ago that I still use um, that way it's just not like letterbox if you end up going the black um, bars on the sides or top route. Yeah, I've been kind of facing my morality, or uh, mortality, as it were, morality. <laughs> that too, maybe? Uh, <laughs> I'm facing my um, mortality as an LP'er lately, so... 
My apologies. Diplomacy of the Skillet. Oh good, I'll finally get a new culinary knife. Because I haven't been buying stuff for this class. Langseth wants you to assist um, Lassa with a matter of great import. Oi, Sinro, just the lad I was looking for. Would you say you be the lad what Lasha is looking for? She's in need of some practiced hands, and you've got the only ones she'll trust. Well, besides mine, of course, but I got me own matters to attend to. Take fair warning, though, Sindro. The better you get, the more others will turn to you. It's a fine feeling being relied upon, but it can be a right pain in the arse. I wish more people relied on me. Any road, enough of me prattle. Run along and find out what Lasha wants. Being needed is is nice. <laughs> Thanks for agreeing to help, Sindral. Well, I tell you the details of your task, but I must keep you, must say you keep it in the utmost. Don't tell anybody. Hey, Sin, you sent a reply comment that you sent in your Switch story comment. Yes, I did. Well, I sent in the uh, one that was drifted, which was my uh, left story comment. How much and how long did it take? Oh, how long did it take? Um, hold on. Wait, the Admiral is scheduled to host the afternoon tea for visiting dignitaries. Oh, man, and we're, um, we're providing the refreshments. Oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. It's like, hey, you, you're good enough in the guild now. You've leveled up and you've done all these quests that we need refreshments for the Admiral. And we're going to count on you. See, that's awesome. Uh, let me go into my email real quick. And I'll find it, I think. Did I get rid of those? I got rid of, of all that because I was done with it. Maybe a month, probably a little less. Yeah, the Bismarck is the uh, name of the restaurant. The name of this place is the Bismarck. Um, it wasn't like a few days. It was a couple of weeks. Maybe, maybe like a month. Um, so I called. I called customer service. Said what the issue was. And I already knew what it was because I played with controllers a long time. So <laughs> this new joystick had become. I'm loose. Um, told them the problem and uh, he had me go through some stuff that I already gone through, and it's like okay. So send it in, and I did. And as long as you haven't like beat up the controller, from what I understood, like they could tell that it is just the just wear and tear. Not like you spilt something on it or broke it or that has been like super abused or anything like that. Uh, it's free. They they um, they fixed it for free. So basically, all that it it took me was um, sending it and waiting for it to get back. Which we have two sets of Joy Cons, so I was still able to do things on the Switch because my wife has a set of Joy Cons, so I just used um, her left one and. There we go. I was still able to do things on the switch, but um, it did take it did take some time for the turnaround. I said probably close to a month, um, but it didn't didn't cost me anything. So we get other than to to ship it and wait for the turnaround. Did I pay for shipping? Another thing about it. 
Jeez, I don't remember. <laughs> but Nintendo didn't charge me anything. That much I can tell you, and um, there was quite a bit of turnaround for them to for it to be sent, and then you get it back. And you can do the same thing I did if you want more information, which is call customer service, which is what I did before anyway. And then after you go through everything, they'll be like, okay, send it. And you can tell them. They'll send you everything in an email too. But unfortunately, I got rid of those emails because my repair is complete. Um, and you can ask all the specifics of how long it'll take and all that. But as long as you're okay waiting for like the turnaround, um, it was worth doing it because now the controller, like it, like it's new. Like the joystick, like it, like I just bought a Joy-Con, so that's really nice. Bismarck. So I guess the restaurant always has a plan. History joke. I've been charged with consuming the menu and um, required help making a few sample dishes. Blood currant tart, a serving of pastry fish, and a cup of chamomile tea, all of the finest quality. As a woman of the sea, the Admiral drinks liquor like most folk drink water, but the same cannot be said of her guest. Hence the afternoon tea as opposed to, say, a dinner banquet. Alas, we know little and less of their taste besides that, so I am forced to consider a wide variety of options. Now, I just so happen to already have all of this stuff. <laughs> uh, somewhere. In here, uh, the caramel tea. They're here somewhere. The pasty fish and the... There's that, the pasty fish, which I bought because I didn't want to make it because it took a bunch of stuff. And there's the blood current tart, which I bought as well after looking at the ingredients. I was like, oh, you know what? I want to do this today, so I'll just buy those real quick. Now the caramel tea, I, I already made and had, had made several. Not that I couldn't make these, just... I didn't want to go gather everything. As soon as our guests seat themselves at the table, their noses will be enticed by the rich, relaxing fragrance of chamomile. Having taken a, sip, a warming sip of their tea, their attention will next turn to the tart and pastry. For instance, they are at a loss, as both dishes are prepared with such loving detail. For an instant, they are at a loss. Is this mere food to consume or art to admire? They feel a twinge of sadness that they must deface such beauty, but that sensation is short-lived. For no sooner do their teeth break the flaky crust than they experience a veritable symphony of taste and textures. The making of pastries and sweets demands not only a delicate hand, but artistic sense besides, and lots of materials. <laughs> you, Sidro, are possessed of both. I can recommend you to the Admiral without reserve. Or you an apology and an explanation. I wasn't being wholly forthright with you. While I'm indeed tasked with conceiving the menu for the Admiral's functions, it was my job to select the guild member who will serve as her chef. Oh man, be the Admiral's personal chef. Throw to inform that the, that honor shall fall to you, the man who passed my test with flying colors. There is no doubt in my mind that you will represent the Bismarck admirably. Keep up the fine work and be close at hand for when the Admiral has need of you. Diplomacy of the Scale. I'll just take the silver pieces. Admire the tea. It is only for looks. Hey, that's what we want. Now we definitely upgrade on the knife. Big upgrade. I could probably get a new skillet at this point, too. Oh no, it was made by me. I assure you, it's not bad. <laughs> okay, that was fun. 
Ah, but not just anyone's cook. The Admiral's cook. When I am, uh, doing cooking. When I'm in the culinary class. Who was the leader of Limsa Lomensa in the entire Maelstrom. So... Which is one of the three grand companies of this land. So... It is no small honor, actually. <laughs> Man, I love FF14. Am I up to date on the botanist? I thought I had a botany quest I needed to do. We can go check it out. I love that there's just so much to do in 14. I just wish, um... I just wish more people would give this game a try that, well, a lot of people try, you know, a lot of people play this game. I wish more people that I knew would give this game a try. I wish more people were around to, to play with, you know, that come to the channel and be a, be a person in, in our fledgling guild and be a part of all this because it's, it's great. I never thought I would get into another MMO. Like, I've said this lots of times. Ever, ever. Because MMOs just bore me. Like, they're all... They all just feel the same to me these days. Um, every MMO I'll play for... Roughly a month, and then be done with... And just be like, okay, I'm I'm done. Um, but not this game. I've played for three months now, and I do not see myself stopping anytime soon. There's always another class I can work on. Um, I still have the DLCs to go. So many classes I can work on. Things like this. Fishing and... Um, running dungeons for the weapons. For like the ammo weapons. A whole bunch of the level 50 quests that I still haven't done. And that's just the, the base game. Is this game very hard on computers? I have no idea. Because my computer's pretty good. Um, it's a few years old now. But it's still, it's still really good. But you can see how it does on your computer yourself. There is a um, free trial of FF14. The only things you can't do is join guild, whisper other people, um, and invite other people to a party. I can invite you to a party, but you can't invite people. And that's just to try to stop um, uh, gold spammers and all that kind of crap. Um, but you play up to thir level 35, which is quite a bit <laughs> you get a a real sense of the game which i think it's awesome I already have. So the next one's at Botany 50, huh? So I did the 45 one. Seeds of Hope. Yeah, level 50. Wow, okay. So that's cut up on. Let's do... Might see about the free trial. I do want to play. Go for it! And if you end up liking... If you end up liking it... 
Uh, the base is just 20 bucks, the starter edition. Now, of course, there's the monthly monthly subscription, too. And I get it. That's a turnoff for a lot of people. Um, I think it's worth it. I have loved... I have loved this game so much. So, uh, monthly subscription is uh, 15 US, $15 a month. Um, I never thought I would pay that either. But, you know, after a while. But here I am, and I love it. I said, you try the free trial, see if it's for you. And there are, um, like I said, just a few restrictions on the free trial. Like, there's no restrictions on class, um, what you can turn into, anything that's in the base game. Over you 70. I was gonna say that's a huge region. Mine doesn't do anything near that. Like I'll cast region on myself. That level 70 gear is a huge difference. Oh, uh, mine's not popping up. It's way less than that, I guarantee. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> a sixth of that region. <laughs> that's fine. Uh the Go to level three. I've tried to get people in Discord to give it a try, but all I get is excuses like I always get from them the same excuses why they're not here, why they don't do anything for the channel. I'm sorry that I'm bitter about all that. Um, I really do apologize. But to me, there's no reason not to try. It's a free trial. And it's it's not like it's a small free trial either. Armsbender, you prepare everything. Okay, um, let's go. Western Lonesca, Aleport. Sahagan dailies and that thing I'm missing for that one quest. Welcome back! For the legacy of Allah. Steam, yes. Uh, this game. <laughs> uh, yes, you can do it all through Steam. Um, pretty sure you can do the free trial through Steam. Uh, it is not for a month. The free trial is as long as you want to play the free trial. To my knowledge. <laughs> and I said, pretty sure the only limits on the free trial is you can't invite people to parties, um, you can't whisper people, and um, level cap is 35. Other than that, I don't think there's any restrictions on the free trial. For this, I need to survey the designated location in the Suspa spawning grounds. So there'll be some place marked.
You can't get the game through Steam. Just make sure if you um, if you do uh, buy the game on Steam, make sure you purchase the expansion through Steam if you end up getting that far. Because, um, like, if you just buy the PC one, it doesn't work on Steam. So, just make sure you use the same same thing for everything. <laughs> Let me see if the free trial's on Steam. While I'm talking about it. So if you... Okay, yeah, you can download demo. Oh, so yeah. Okay, so you can do do it through Steam. There's a download demo on the right side if you go to the FF14 page. And it's about to install the FF14 online free trial. Okay. So, just if you... Um, if you do it through Steam... Make sure you do everything through Steam. If you end up getting the game, get it through Steam. So that way all your stuff carries over. If you end up getting DLCs, make sure you get it on Steam. Just make sure it's all all through Steam. And we are on um, Marlboro, by the way. So make sure you choose that as your home world. Home world is um, open and closed all the time. Um, but I don't think there's all that many people on Marlboro. If it's not open, just wait a few minutes, and it will probably open. That's what I've been told. But uh, come join the fun. Be part of... Be part of this. <laughs> and even though you can't whisper in-game, the there's always chat. There's always the FF14... Um, Discord, yeah, FF14 um, chat that I have in my Discord. Which I'm pretty sure you're part of. But. All right, let's do the dailies. Okay, this one's here, so let's do this one first. They always talk on there about it. Um, got Rot Hawk to try it, which is great. I said, if you end up not liking it or whatever, that's fine to me. No harm, no foul. I, to me, there's no reason that you can't try it. Uh, maybe your computer can't run it. I understand. I had to quit an MMO years ago because my laptop at the time could not run it. So, like, I understand. But to me, there's no reason not to try if it looks fun. And I have settings pretty high, so... Because like I said, I have a pretty good computer now. It's a few years old, but it's still really good. Alright, that's what we need. Oh, 
another team just because <laughs> taking you out too okay. we're done here Thank you, Behorn, for the sub. Much appreciated. I haven't seen one of those in a while. <laughs> I very rarely see them anyway. Thank you very much for subscribing. Greatly appreciated. September! Well, September's almost done and I got a whole one sub. <laughs> but hey, that's one more than I normally get, so we should look on the bright side of things. I do try to do that. Not the best at it these days, but I do try. Sub notification thing, Starfy. Yeah, it's it was one of the defaults on uh, Streamlabs OBS, which is what what I'm using to to stream. What I've used to stream for a while, and since my whole thing is shoot for the stars, I think it worked anyway. <laughs> I do try. <laughs> I do try to look on the bright side of things. I mainly used it because Star. It's <laughs> my thing, shoot for the stars, but I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> done. And the other thing was supposed to I love Kirby. Kirby's awesome. a lot too. I just never never grab the water crystal thing. Oh, I need you. That's what I come here for. So far as the books a lot. Let me knock this out while we're here. Bonus thing done. Bonus is in. Yeah, I didn't come here to do that, but it's done. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, rare hunt. Did it. All right, let's go turn these in. I greatly appreciate that you uh, that you chose me for that. Thank you very much, and thank you for the twenty-five bits as well, which I don't see those anymore either. <laughs> but thank you, thank you very much, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for being awesome. Well, that's done. And that gives us enough to do the Sahagan next quest. For reputation, the Scarlet Bloodletter. Norv needs a rock to sink the bloodthirsty ambitions of the coral tritons. Psh, the tide brings ill news, Shorewalker. Seems the coral tritons and their finless pets, the serpent reavers, are even now swarming another vessel off the coast of western Lanoska. But there is still time. We must not let them sink this ship as they did the last one. Should the tridents continue to agitate the waters with such abandon, the Shorewalker elders will surely bring their armies against us. Shorewalker syndrome, is it? I need you to become the rock I spoke of when we first met. Board the trading vessel known as the Swallow as soon as you're able, and blunt the thrusts of my foolhardy kin. We Sahagin are comfortable with swimming long distances, but you have not the required physiology. You must speak with my son, Pa. The Elbis he breeds are trained to carry those wounded in deep water skirmishes, but they will just as easily carry an uninjured warrior into battle. Your sea beast steed awaits. Which we saw that earlier. It's this thing. Because we had a quest to uh, ride it. Clutchfather told me of your need. This Elbus is the largest and swiftest, and swiftest creature in my stable, and should have no difficulty in bearing you across the waves. Be sure you are prepared for heavy combat, Shorewalker. The coral tridents often bring their own sea, sea beasts into battle, ill-treated and foul-tempered brutes all. And I speak not to the serpent reavers, though the description may be apt. <laughs> Shade! Ready to ride my Elbus to the Swallow Finless one? Ah, oh, I should go grab the, uh, 
samurai class. It'd be this would be good to do with it. Cause this is like level 40 something. The samurai starts at starts at 50? Maybe? Question mark? I think so. Oh well, let's go. Yay! Coral targets? Eh. Just dump them in warm water. They'll be done for. <laughs> Please take whatever you want. Just let me keep my insides on the inside. Uh, here to help. Eh? You don't work for those marrow-sucking fishbacks? Here to rescue me and my crew? Well then, I won't question how you reached us in the middle of the ocean without a vessel of your own. <clears throat> this proud lady is the Swallow, and I'm her slightly less than proud captain. <laughs> we were, in fact, in the ignoble process of abandoning ship, so a slightly less than proud captain. Truly wish to save our skins, then I would be much obliged if you were to stall the enemies on deck while my men continue to prepare the lifeboats. Stall them how, you ask? Try spilling some of their black blood and see if that helps. Fight them off. I can do that. Yes? Okay. Starts with that. Plus, I think the samurai class just has a chance to be really cool. Heroescape. Really good board game that had a crazy mix of different types of figures. Yeah. I, uh, I played Heroescape 4. A long time ago. That's a really old game. Done. Navigator's nightshirt. You certainly are a force of nature. I was so focused on your deadly dance, I scarce noticed the lifeboats were in the water. As much as it pains my heart to lose my dear swallow, losing my innards would be pain more painful still. Come, brave lad. I can hear the tavern in Aleport calling our names. Yeah, I played Heroescape. A friend of mine had it. I said that, that was a long time ago now, if I remember right. I mean, they're practically collector's items at this point. Oh, I think so. I think it would have been really cool. Like, they're expensive now. I remember my friend was looking looking at a Heroescape set. Because uh, he lost his, unfortunately. I said this was like, a decade ago now. If not more. Thank you for your aid, my stalwart friend. If you hadn't inexplicably appeared moms from the coast without a sail in sight, I fear my crew and I would now be taking our final rest on the ocean bed alongside the broken hull of my sweet swallow. I had but recently filled the ship with lifeboats and I'm full glad I did. It was the sinking of that trading ship that long past not long past that prompted me to take such precautions. Awful business that. Tell me, how is an honest man meant to make a living when the trade routes are thus preyed upon? How can mere merchants be expected to fight through a sea of uh, slavering fishbacks? Once they attacked us, we were so bold as to introduce themselves before clamoring over our, our rails. Coral tridents, they said they were, praised their leader as some manner of red-hued sea devil. Red-hued sea devil? Oh, red-hued sea devil. Hi. Uh, pray forgive my outburst. Storm Lieutenant Uru Koguru. That, that's Koguru. 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 Ururu. <laughs> Storm Lieutenant. So actually a, uh, an officer. At your service. Captain, and this is a 
vital importance. Do you recall exactly which red hue the Sahagin used to describe their leader? Wouldn't happen to have been Scarlet, would it? Well, now that you mention it, I'm fairly certain it was Scarlet. If it were Crimson or Carmine, I'm sure I would have remembered. Merchant Captain must keep abreast of such details, you understand. Twelve above, the demon rises from the depths once more. His name is needlessly complicated to pronounce. <laughs> I like it, though. It seems like a lot of the uh, Lalafell have that kind of that kind of name. It's really cool. <laughs> Something terribly amiss, Lieutenant. Some fifteen years ago, there was one Sahagin pirate of such cruelty, such depravity, that he plunged the entire region of Western Lonesca into gibbering terror. The hands of the stoutest sailor would shake at the mere hint of his shadow on the waves. Truly, he was a monster that froze the hearts of men. Even the knights of the Barracuda were powerless to halt this villain's rampage. So much delight did he take in the act of slaughter that the white coral necklace he wore was stained perpetually red with blood. Thus was the beastman whispered of in tavern room tales as the Scarlet Sea Devil. It has been so long since the name's been uttered, I thought him perished of old age. But it appears the horror lives on. Uh, these are dark days, my friends. I must return to Camp Skull Valley and report this development to Commander Falkbrida at once. Well, this sea devil fellow sounds awfully unpleasant, doesn't he? Perhaps losing my ship was not the most terrible fortune after all. Ah, managed to save some things from the hold before we fled. Be honored if you were to accept a small token of my gratitude. It is not, alas, a sack bulging with coin. You will, however, find no finer friend than these oranges for fending off illness on long sea voyages. Yay, oranges. Share the oranges. No scurvy for us. <laughs> it's funny, I can harvest oranges with a, a, a botanist. <laughs> uh, there. <laughs> oh, you can get them from around this area, actually. They are Lonescan oranges. Funny enough. Um, I used to play a bunch of tabletop board games and stuff. I don't really have anybody since I moved, nobody to play with, so um, anything within the past year or so. Um, I have, probably haven't heard about or tried, but I used to play with with friends in my hometown a bunch of different board games, card games, just a lot. Sidra, you have returned. My spawnlings have heard rumors from the Coral Trident camp that the crew of the Swallow escaped with the aid of an Elvis riding Shorewalker. <laughs> well done. Though the ship was taken, the lives you saved will spare us much enemy. What did you have there? Oranges! Juicy Lodoskin oranges. That's sad. If you play 14, you'll have people to play with. Hopefully more over time. People, more people will show up to the streams. <laughs> I've been streaming this for three months and practically nobody's shown up. But hey, there's always hope. 
I've seen the like of these before. Fruit, yes. Picked from your land-grown trees. Yes. <gasps> Try it, orange. Clutch father, what are those? They smell strange. Oh, Ren, Jez? Do they taste as good as sea cucumbers? Gift from our shore walker friend. Be sure to thank him and share them evenly among your clutch mates. Thank you, shore walker. Yay! Still so innocent. But I cannot shelter them from the world's harsh truths forever. What of you, Sindral? Have you any offspring? I do not. Imagine a warrior of your stature would have received many eggs from your matriarch. Ah, but you shore walkers do not lay eggs, correct? No, we do not. <laughs> there is much I am unfamiliar with concerning your kind. But there is also much of our people that you are like that you likely find mysterious. Instance. Why have the coral tridents suddenly come to prominence? That's a great question. Suddenly. Those who succeed in battle are vault vaulted amongst their kin. Vaunted amongst their kin. And with their strategic use of the serpent reavers, the tridents have achieved a growing number of victories. Now you tell me that they boast of a new leader? Are you certain of the name? Positive. This does not bode well for our plans at all. I did not expect the Scarlet Sea Devil to return. Recognized! It's Sagan. New Sagan Beast Quest can now be or now available. Which are open now. Oh, do you reset as well? Gilling me softly. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just have more. Mm. But I don't want to take these necess not necessarily because I do want to work on the ones in um, the bath. I want to work on the bath. And the Ixel. I definitely want to work on the Ixel. So I'll wait on these. Let's go. To old uh, via gold saucer. <laughs> That's cheap. Air Force One. Oh, let's go do Air Force One real quick. Cause I can. Creature of the Black Lagoon. Heard of it, never, never seen it. Yay! Haven't done this in a while.
I would like for them to do more with the uh, men and women. Those are, I think, it'd be really cool. Maybe more than. Or they have something even bigger in the new lands. Who knows? I really don't watch a lot of movies. Honestly. Just in general, like older movies I've probably seen. You know, to some degree. <laughs> I just don't watch watch movies really or really watch TV either all that much video games I play a lot of <laughs> definitely hold a video game conversation but TV movies probably not Tricky ones coming up now. Next stream tomorrow. Next stream will be tomorrow. Um, should be streams. Yeah, that one. That one's the tricky one. You can hit it easily. Um, should be streams. Monday through Friday, except. Uh, this week, except for Thursday, because I have doctor appointment. So no stream Thursday for sure. It took me forever to download um, FF14 stuff. It's just, just big game. <laughs> so. So I can't say that. No stream Thursday, but uh, should be stream should be streamed tomorrow, unless something yeah something happens. Internet, I saw that <laughs> for example. But ho hopefully, see you tomorrow. Uh, okay. I came here because it's a cheap way to get to Ulda. <laughs> Hope I'm guessing right that Samurai's in Ulda, because I think it is, if I remember right. Because I would like to grab the class. Probably go to. Okay. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming, Reynard, and you're welcome. Hopefully that, that helps you out, and hope to see you again soon. Right outside the plaza? Okay. Right outside the plaza. Just so I have a DPS at a decent level. <laughs> So I can play something else. <laughs> if I want to. I never get to play DPS, so it'll be fun to play DPS. Way of the Samurai. Uh, we get Soul of the Samurai, which is our job crystal. Mithrite. Uh, Uchigatana. And a set of armor. 
An oldest citizen is ripe to burst with excitement and seeks a hapless passerby upon whom to unburden himself. Thus balls, just when you think you've seen it all, the world's full of surprises. What am I talking about? Oh, nothing much. Just the most amazing blade work I've ever seen! <laughs> Wasn't even the main card either, light entertainment. Far Eastern fellow, old enough to be my grandfather, appeared and called for challengers. Who should answer him who should answer him but a brute of a gladiator? People thought it was either mummery or a sick joke. After all, what could one expect from such a mismatch? The old and infirm versus the young and informed. But when the action began, the old man proceeded to drop everyone's jaws. His opponents, not least of all, with this blistering blade work. The most the most riveting moment, though, was when he had the challenger on the back foot. For instead of finishing the job, he went and sheathed his blade. Putting your steel away in the heat of battle. Well, that's akin to committing suicide. This was not lost on the gladiator, who lunged in with a mighty swing. The spectators gasped collectively, thinking it was over. And it was. But not for the old man. For the next instance before anyone could comprehend what had happened, his opponent was crumpled to the ground. Heck yeah, because he used EI Jutsu. So cool. I hope that's part of the class. It's my favorite, one of my favorite sword fighting styles, period, is EI Jutsu. It's so cool. Drawing from the sheath. Yeah, I've just always loved it. Whenever I could do that in any video game, I am 100% down. In one fell stroke, and with impossible speed, the old man had drawn his sword and dealt the, tel dealt the telling blow. A few heartbeats passed in stunned silence. Then the stands erupted in riotous cheering. Gosh, just recounting it gives me the chills, the speed, the precision, the elegance. Simply sublime. How's it possible I've never heard of these Far Eastern warriors? These samurai? Wait, are you thinking what I think you're thinking and you want to face the old man? Well, that silver-tongued showmaster was looking for a new challenger, but you don't want to do this. Let someone else be the fool. Oh no, I definitely. Oh, that was that was different sounding. That was a different sound. That was cool. Because this was let's say gladiator skill. Let's go there. Um, this came with the Stormblood expansion. So that might be when we get to Stormblood, we may hear that that music quite a bit. That sounded awesome, by the way. Come one, come all, and marvel at the mystery of the Far East. A swordsman hailing from exotic Hingashi, Hin Hin whose blade work is quicker than the eye can see. Don't let his age fool you, old though he may be. He's already made a short work of one of Ulda's meanest gladiators, and now seeks a new challenger. You can best him, you'll be rewarded with a rare Hingen treasure. If there's anything like Red Mage, the bosses along this quest line will not pull their punches. Alright. Noted. There's just one condition. You must fight with the same blade as the old man's. If you think you have what it takes, proceed to the Gladiator's Guild and make yourself known to the Far Eastern Elder. I'm down this good. Way of the Samurai. Always love Samurais, too. So, this is... Definitely my far eastern elder. Oh, so cool. This aura. Unusual. Oh, the music is perfect. Unusual, yet undoubtedly formidable. Dare I hope a worthy challenger has come? Well met, friend. I am Musosai, Musosa, a samurai of Hingashi. Lest you wonder, samurai are swordsmen of the Far East. 
Yet know that the swords we wield are unlike those of this land. Katana, they are called, and for our duel I shall lend you such a blade, along with a stone, a talisman of sorts. Wear them on your person, and you shall become one of us, at least in appearance, if not in suit. The Way of the Samurai. That was very cool sounding. <laughs> Bushido Blade 1. That was it. Whatever I have for recommend. Oh, let's. Well, I'm gonna time. Where is... Do I have those already? Where is gear? Gearbox. Use gearbox. <laughs> there we go. Jigane, Toge, Teko. The, uh, this level 28 belt I have. And all this knock stuff that I grabbed earlier, so that's useful. And of course, Soul of the Samurai. Samurai. That's an awesome first looking gear set, though. I need no gear, that's right. <laughs> cool start. Too bad the, my belt is way out of, out of date. I could change that, though. Change that easily, actually. Sin gauge unlocked. The sin gauge displays which of the three sin effects Setsu, Getsu, and Ka, so top, left, right, are currently accumulated. Sin is required to perform EI Jutsu. Yes! So cool! <laughs> the, name of, the number of sin accumulated, determining which weapon skull will be executed. One for Higanbana, two for... Uh, Tenka Goken, and three for Madera Setsu Geka. Okay. So, EI Jutsu is actually something we use, which is probably this. EI Jutsu. Executes a weapon skill depending on the number of sins stored in the in the sin gauge. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> we actually use it. And if I actually show that I put the sword in the sheath and then swing, that would be just the best. Okay, so that's you. This is the gauge. We'll move it later. Okay. Hakaze. Basic attack. 200 attack potency. Okay. Level 4, Jinpu. Combo action with... Okay, so we Hakaze and then Jinpu for an extra... for extra attack power. Combo bonus. Increased damage dealt by 10% for 40 seconds. Okay, so I definitely want to start with that. Boom, boom, and then have extra damage. Do extra damage. Third eye. Reduce the amount of damage taken by the next attack by 10%. Duration, 3 seconds. Might just save me if I'm about to get hit by something big. <laughs> and it's like, oh man, I screwed up. Second wind. Okay, heal self. Leg sweep, which is the, uh, the stun. 40 second recast time. Blood bath, which I've seen in like Lancer that I have. Converts a portion of physical damage dealt into HP for 20 seconds. NP. Delivers a ranged attack with a potency of 100. Okay, you're my ranged attack. Shifu. Reduces weapon skill cast time and recast time. Spell cast time and recast time. And auto attack by delay by 10% for 40 seconds. Okay, that's cool. So, probably switch those. Hakaze, Shifu, Hakaze, Jinpu. That way you have the buffs. This one, reduce cast time. This one, get more damage. Faint, uh, lowers target strength and dex by 10% for 10 seconds. Delivers attack with a potency of 100 to all enemies in a cone. So, Need you. Let's see, Gecko. Delivers an attack with a potency of 100. 
after Jimpu. So, Hakaze, Jinpu, Gecko, and it grants one of these. There's Ei Jutsu. Arms Length. Creates a barrier nullifying most knockback and draw effects. That's one that a lot of classes get at 32. Self choice percent when barrier is struck. Okay. Fuga. Okay. Fuga. No, not you. Extends Jimpu duration by 15 seconds to a maximum of 40. Which is this. So it refreshes this. That's cool. Also grants Getsu. Grants Ka. So you combo off Shifu. You go there. That's a huge <laughs> combo too. Five, uh, 480. Just a bunch of damage. Same with Geku as well. You do the same thing. You extend Shifu's duration. And hit all enemies. Grants Setsu. So you just go off of that. Oh, a lot of combos here. Execute up to... Three weapon skill combos without meeting combo prerequisites. Does not affect EI Jutsu. 15 seconds. Okay, that's cool. So I could use it and use like this and still get the 400 damage. Use this and still get the 480 damage for the next three. True North and nullify all action direction requirements. Nothing here has an action, has a uh, direction yet. So that's okay. Oh, lot to lot to remember. So I want to do one, two. I want to do one, three, one, four, one, two. One, five, six. Because I need to get each one. There's Ka and Jets. And then I can EI Jutsu. Alright, I'm not going to be good at this. <laughs> I never get to play DPS, so. That's be fun. Regard you with a piercing gaze. Master Mosase. Mosase. Ah, yes. In your gaze, I see the stirrings of a newborn samurai. Tis plain the stone has already bequeathed some of its memories onto you. Yet having the memories is one thing, mastering them quite another. We shall see how well you fare against me. Prepare yourself, young samurai. We begin as soon as you are ready. I'm sure this is going to go poorly. Honestly, you sucked at your first battle as a red mage. Yeah, I don't, I don't expect me to do well. <laughs> Again, I very rarely get to play DPS, so. Gather around, bear witness, for another brave challenger has appeared. Next to face Musase, Swordmaster of the Far East, we have Iterate Adventurer. What the hell is that? You should know who I am. Hold it right there. No one gets to take down that old bastard set me. Barone of the last standing. Scourge of the sands.
You made a fool of me earlier. This time there'll be no tricks. This time I fight with my own sword. Not that pathetic excuse for a needle you handed me. What's this? Boneheaded Barold, who was so roundly trounced but moments ago, has invaded the Blood Sands. For those who came in late, he's the disgraced gladiator who was cast out of the Coliseum for, and I paraphrase, being an all-around odious brute. The rules were plain, and you agreed to them. There were no tricks. No tricks. Shut your mouth and fight me again! Hmm. Such eagerness for blood. The warriors of this land are as naked blades. <laughs> and smile! That smile! I'll get you next time! <laughs> of course the master has quality steel. And with that distraction out of the way, we may continue where we left off. Oh, just the way he handled the blade, that was cool. That was correct. I would like for this to be more of a tutorial, but I know it's not going to be. Loading! Begins! How will this challenger fare against the enigmatic Elder? Now then, let's see how well you wield the katana. wrong one. One, five, six. Ei jutsu. Midair sekugage. Cool. That's cool. But, oh man, this this just neat. Just how you fight with it is great. This is so cool. See, and then I can do this, and I can do two, four, six. Oh, uh, it ran out. Darn. Let's see, let's try some of these other ones. Fuga, because it's a ranged one. That's cool, and that hits all around. Let's try this one. With the EI Jutsu. Oh, that's cool, that hits a wave. That'll be good when we have other people. Victory is yours, young one. Oh, I'm down to play. <laughs> play the samurai. That's so cool. Using EI Jutsu. And it's like your your finishing combo. To draw forth such strength from the stone in so short a time, you are no ordinary man. As promised. I shall bestow upon you the rarest of Hingen treasures, training in the way of the samurai. 
Thank you, Master. What was the matter? Our techniques are not fa <laughs> No, man, I would have been thankful. <laughs> What is, the, what is the matter? Our techniques are not found in this land, hence their great worth. I mean, true. <laughs> As my pupil, you would train under my watchful eye and learn even the most... Um, oh, I should forget how to pronounce that word. These are the strongest of my techniques. You lying bastard! All that fighting and there wasn't even a coin in it? Oh, okay. So that was your training. Now the real deal. What's this? Boneheaded Barold is back, and this time he brought friends. This man doesn't know when to give up. You got a problem. Come down here and say it. At no point was it said that the treasure was an object, let alone coin. Besides, winning it was well beyond you. Oh, shade from the master. He's correct, but... Shut the hells up. This time, I'll show you my strength. Your strength lies in numbers, Twitseem. Very well. If you insist on another trouncing, then so be it. But know that this time, tis not who I shall deal with it, but my pupil. I'm now his pupil, and I'm okay with this. Having seen your potential firsthand, he and his ilk ought not pose you any trouble. What? But I just learned... Uh, okay. Whoever he is, I'll take care of him too. Jump's coming free for all. And you just lose. Come on, let's go! Spares gets an axe or two. Uh, let's see. fights on his own. I thought that ice was something from the uh, enemy, but that, that's that's from me, and that's rude. No rest for the thicket, I like that. What are you doing? Saw this! I'm gonna make you hurt, old man, if it's the last thing I do!
you are done, then allow me. Ah! <laughs> Not even worth drawing my blade. Well fought, young one. I have seen all I need to see. Winner is the challenger! What fearsome fighters, these samurai! Let's give him a rousing applause! I didn't even need to draw my blade! My <laughs> When I am an elder white mage, this is the kind of power that I, I'd i like to feel. And it's like, oh, are you done? <laughs> that was a sign of contempt. <laughs> that was a sign of just how far you are below me. <laughs> My sheer presence, fighting aura, whatever you want to call it, knocked you out. <laughs> Forgive me. I know it was wrong to force that fight upon you. And yet I find I do not regret having done so. For it has reaffirmed beyond any doubt the promise I had glimpsed in you. Long did I search in my native land for a pupil. But I found none fit to be a vessel for my knowledge. The problem, I concluded, lay in my people's way of thinking, the zeal with which they uphold tradition to the detriment of all else. Ah, I definitely, definitely see that. So it was that I set forth for a new land, this hare's ear. Hare's ear. I placed myself in the midst of your most able swordsmen, offering myself up as a spectacle in hopes of finding a worthy soul. And find him I did, in you. Now I realize how all this may appear. To you, I could be but a strange old fool spouting nonsense. Ha! <laughs> no, <laughs> you are definitely not that. But I am well past caring about appearances. It is old. I speak with all earnesty when I say there is none who, none other who into whom I would pour my knowledge. And so I ask you, will you consent to being my pupil? 100%, yes. Words cannot well express my joy. From this moment on, we are master and student. Now then, I would know your name. By what are you called? I'm Sindril. Sindril, tis a fine name. Without further ado, Sindril, we shall commence your training. Pray join me at the nearby tavern, the Slick Hand. Yes, master. S slick Hand, yeah, quick, quick thing. <laughs> Cause it up. May says hi. Hi. So cool. See, just the way 14 does things like that is... It's so good. I shall begin at the very beginning, in the distant past. And Gashi underwent a period of strife, during which numerous opposing factions vied for supremacy, the Age of Blood. In this age, full many took to battle with katana in hand, and in the crucible of war our art was forged, the Way of the Samurai. Eventually. The realm was unified under one banner, and peace reigned once more. The people set aside their katana, save for we samurai, who continue to wield it as a symbol of authority. And with that authority comes a grave responsibility, protecting the peace. Well, I'm all about that, so. 
to ensure that the Age of Blood is never repeated, we samurai seek out the wicked and bring them to account. In so doing, we ward off chaos and preserve order in the realm. Such is our calling. Well, I'm down for that. In Gashi, or Heir's Ear, it matters not where we are. This calling guides us always. To that end, we shall journey the land, you and I, on a quest to right wrongs. As one who has grasped the foundations of our art, it is your surest path to mastery. Understood. Our efforts begin in this very city. I shall cast about for evil that has taken root here, then, and then we may proceed to ex to excise it. I guess I too. Basically, get rid of it. Well, now, that certainly got exciting quick. But with some even quicker thinking, I managed to set up a wager and turn a tidy profit. Ha-ha! <laughs> Momozigo, I owe you a debt of gratitude. Thanks to you, I have found my pupil at long last. I pray you will live comfortably with your winnings. <laughs> nah, hey, we both won. That was a win-win. <laughs> got pupil, you got a bunch of money. Actually, I had a mind to join you. Wherever you go, I sense that coin will follow. And besides, it seems you're planning to root out evil in our fair city. If so, you do well to have me along. With my connections, I could procure the information you're like to need. Then there's the small matter of your complete and utter lack of knowledge of Eorzea. Okay, fair enough. There is that indeed. Had fate not seen fit to unite us, I never would have found my way here from Fester Bay. F Fester Bay? Vesper Bay. <laughs> I'm trying to trying to figure out what he's... <laughs> the, the places he's saying. <laughs> and I st still wouldn't be standing here breathing. If anyone knows anything, it's me. You saved me from those cutthroat bandits when I tried recruiting them from the Coliseum. It's terribly reckless in hindsight. As for you, my friend, to be marked out by old Musase himself, you must be made of uncommon stuff indeed. Not to put the pressure on, but I have the highest hopes for you. And here we are then. I shall undertake my search with Momozigo's help. Until such time there are developments, pray continue honing your newfound skills. Yes, Master. Next quest is at 52, the Sands of Debt. So cool. All right. I think that is a great place to end this stream. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and had a ton of fun. I know I sure did. Except for the disconnects, but at least it was only two. So that wasn't too bad. Normally it's zero, but... Still, could have been worse, could have been offline the entire time. And we wouldn't have gotten the awesome, the awesome samurai quest line. That was super neat. I'm definitely excited to play more of the samurai at some point. Until tomorrow for even more stuff. Uh, uh, shoot, there is one other thing I need to do. Now that I think about it. Because I want to do this on screen. One more thing. Hang on, Fossil. <laughs> forget everything I just said. Well, don't forget it. I actually am glad you were here. But, uh, one more thing. Enix trying is closer, I believe. I got so caught up with Samurai that <laughs> I almost forgot. Uh, we have the reputation quest for the bath. So I would like to go ahead and do that because I wanted to show that on screen. And then I can do more quest off screen. <laughs> so let's go run into that one. I love that you use EI Jutsu. That's so cool. And just the other attacks. It's the way you swing the blade. The way the attacks look is just, just top notch. Love it.
Adventurers don't get cold feet. Proceeding to my current level, I'll try the Samurai. This will probably go poorly, but, you know, I'll try. Seemed like it took days for the sun to set when I had no purpose. Now I barely notice until the braziers are lit. Our guild is so busy. Master is so generous to help us with our client's task. After the guild was constructed, we did not know where to begin. But we watched you, and we learned many things. We traded for cannons with rewards we reaped for our colony's defense. Though they are not new, they should work well enough. But there is a problem. We have no fire sand to use them if they are needed. Sought to find sulfur to make our own stock. But the one mine has claimed all the deposits for themselves and guard them fiercely. Very fiercely. I asked Marchamp where else I could procure fire sand. <clears throat> he spoke of a group of fleshlings who slay dragons for glory. Dragon slayers. They live far in the south, in the land the hunters call Corthus. Do you know of them? I do. <laughs> he said these dragon slayers use cannons much like ours, but much bigger. Much bigger. Bigger cannons must mean lots of fire sand. Yes? Will you come with me to speak with them? Okay, I can do that. Thank you. This will be a long journey for me. Very long. I must prepare. Meet at the edge of the forest. What is the uh, item level 115? Actually, that's not bad. I definitely use a new belt, though. What about everything else? 110, 110, 110. 90 for the ring. Not terrible. Edge of the forest. This game, I'm lacking a thousand XP for a botanist level up after turning in my quest. Ah, oh, that stinks. <laughs> Nervous, Master. I have never traveled beyond the borders of the hunter's camp. What awaits us in the south? Lots of things. Snow. Whispers. The one mind. Uh-oh. Perimeter fire drone. that have help forgive me master the voices they frighten me my head aches they drown out my own thoughts I lose the will to move no no excuse all adventurers face many trials this is my own to overcome press on to Corthus good on you deft arm You can do it. Push through. What a beautiful land. Everything looks so clean, but my body shivers as if it had fallen in a river. To feel cold all the time. What an unpleasant feeling. Yes, most unpleasant. Let us hurry and find the leader of these dragon slayers. I like the cold, personally. I mean, this would be super cold. Not comfortable at all, but... Better than, like, hot, like, desert. Speak with Janelot at the Convictory. Adventurers don't get cold feet. 
<laughs> I get it now because of the gold. This dude. I don't like this dude all that much, but you know what? Apprentice? Well, well, where's this aspiring adventurer? This path. By the fury, an enormous armored crab! I knew this day would come. Tis my reckoning for the many nights I've buttered and supped upon its kin. No matter, I have no regrets. <laughs> I knew this day would come. This is my reckoning. No regrets. The crabs were delicious. <laughs> Strange greeting. I am Vath Deptar, an adventurer who perform any task you require, but to request fire sand as my reward. <laughs> oh man, I must be dreaming. A talking crab and one requesting fire sand at that. <laughs> ah, you speak as if we have aught to spare. You don't? Yet, if this is a waking dream, I might as well entertain this crab's offer. Slay the lesser dragons which plague our camp at present, and fire sand you shall have. Little glory for us in slaying such frail fiends. Yet you, as a greenhorn, might find it a suitable challenge. But I have never killed a dragon before. Even a small one. Said you would perform any task, did you not? I gave you my conditions. Go on, rid us of the dragon nuisance. How about a bundle of sapling branches for our chefs instead? Surely you are in need of quality arrows to take care of your foes yourself. No need for primitive sticks when we can procure the finest arrows from Ishgard. If you will not do as bade, I have no use for you. What should I do? I cannot kill a dragon. I could not even face the one mind. Perhaps I cannot be useful after all. Sure you can. Let's go. That's not true. Come on. We go give it a try. But he asked an impossible task. How is one of my size able to rid his camp of an entire horde of... Of course, killing the dragons is beyond... Killing the dragons is beyond my skills, but driving them away is the bat's specialty. Master, I have a plan. Could I ask you to prepare a fire outside of the camp? and return once I have found the herbs I need. Uh, okay. Herbs? We're burning. I've heard tales of smoke screens used to keep dragons at bay. I never seen it done. Suppose you'll need some firewood. Thanks. <laughs> Chopped firewood. Okay. Our scouts have potted a group, spotted a group of lesser dragons approaching from beyond the ridge. Now then, where's that apprentice of yours? Good question. Right there. <sighs> found them! I found them! Set these withered herbs ablaze. It will create a thick smoke that offends the sense of the dragons nearby. They will have no choice but to retreat. This had better work. If I find you wasted my time, I shall be most displeased. See for yourself.
Okay, bye. Ah, oh, it worked. By the fury, it does work. Little bastards floated away with their tails between their legs. My apologies for doubting you, adventurer. We shall take as many herbs as you can offer. And you'll receive due compensation, of course. A fire sand, was it? Yes, oh yes. It is my pleasure to serve. If you have other tasks for us, please send word to our guild in the west. You have a guild! Ha! Excellent, excellent. If it means the convictors will be spared their time to concentrate on the larger their time to concentrate on the larger threats at hand, you can count on our patronage. See, Deft Arm? You did it! Glad I did not give up. Yeah, just can't give up. Although it felt like the dragons would be less... Though it felt like slaying dragons would be less work. My legs grew so cold in the snow. I feared they might freeze and snap. Uh, let us return home. I must tell... Must speak with the storyteller about our new client. New client. Dust storms. Oh man, I don't think we've seen dust storms before. Makes it hard to see. <laughs> so correct. So that's what that is probably to keep the dragons away. He has not returned to the colony yet. He was not with you? Oh, crud. Forgive my lateness, Master. I was unsure of the path. Unsure of the path? We have secured much fire sand for our cannons. Much fire sand. The colony's defense will be guaranteed as long as we maintain relations with the Dragon Slayers. How fast this world is, and I am hungry to see more of it. But for now, the guild needs tending. Our clients have many tests for us. Until next time, Master. Cannons? Good. Uh, also, uh, hatchling is on is on cannons. Grabs hatchling. Convictors are now clients of the Adventurers Guild. Yeah. <laughs> I like that there's a chocobo hatchling here, <laughs> and it's always around. Trusted. And new, you'll be able to take three additional quests from the Vath Kenai as a reputation rank bonus. This bonus is available until the daily reset time for Beach Tribe quest. Additional quests will become available after accepting all current daily quests from the Vath Kenai. Please be advised you cannot undertake these quests if you have no remaining allowances. And a wider variety of selections. In order to undertake the next Beach Tribe main quest, you must first complete the main scenario quest, A Great New Nation. Which I don't think we've done. But, I mean, I could still work on them. Okay. That is definitely going to do it. <laughs> for, the, for the stream. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a lot of fun. I hope you got as many laughs as I did. Especially here toward the end. Until tomorrow, 
I'm Central. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.